Oh, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. I enjoyed the cheesy retro ambiance. What the hell are you talking about, Max? Sam, either termites are burrowing through my skull, or one of us is ticking. Oops. Oh, yeah. Max, where should I put this so it doesn't hurt anyone we know or care about? Out the window, Sam. There's nothing but strangers out there. I hope there was nobody on that bus. Nobody we know, at least. Guess he had it coming to him. Gratuitous acts of senseless violence are my forte! You're such an adorable urchin, Max. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Ooh, that gives me an idea. According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like any time. Tom Nation and Blimey, he ain't here. So now what do we do? Now? Now we get in the bus and look for him, you idiot. I knew that. Uh. Get out of Mr. Bumpus' way, you partially clad varmints. Who was that? I don't know, but if it weren't for the carefree innocence of this carnival, I'd be breaking his kneecaps. You're a demonic little imp, Max. Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there! How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. Yeah, but... It's them! Hi, I'm Shep Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free coin dogs, so we can uke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? He's repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off of him. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes. Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. I find your combination of golfing and alligators almost Dolly-esque in its dissonance. Ditto. Wish it had been my idea. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, 
I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with ten-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. Hmm, I've got an inexplicable urge to buy some suitcases. Don't even joke about it, city boy. Don't you ever leave here? Only to feed the gators. When's feeding time? Whenever there's food in front of them. This must be a popular teen hangout. It was. Then we had that problem with the Jenkins kid. The court made me destroy my best gator over that. <laughs> well, what can I do for you? Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the end clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoot? Don't get me started about Bigfoots. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered. And how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. Protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. What do you think of Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus? He's my idol. I've named all my kids and pets after him. I built a beer can shrine to him in the garage. I live for the day when I can meet him in person. Why do you ask? Uh, no reason. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? World of fish. Fish feed. I hear a distant rumbling. You should have thought of that before we left. What a hunk of filet. I'm naming it Bubbles. It's a bucket of fish. Actually, Sam, it's a slimy bucket of fish. I wonder if this will in any way shape our thoughts on today's lunch. Wretched refuse on a teeming shore. Something fishy's going on here. Congratulations. You're the 200th person today who said that. I love all your movies, especially the early funny ones. What are you talking about? Sorry, I must have confused you with someone else. You must really love fish. Actually, I'm allergic to them. Then why do you work here? Because I'm more allergic to poverty. So, how are they biting? Uh, they're biting pretty well. In the last hour, they've bitten an arm, two fingers, and my nose. If they bite any better, I'll need reconstructive surgery. What do you know about Bigfoots? My great-aunt Lois married a Bigfoot. He used to shed all over Grandma Phyllis's upholstery. Have you seen Conroy Bumpus? No, I try not to listen to country music. When I do, I usually have an uncontrollable desire to drink a lot of beer and do illegal things to farm animals. You too? 
What's the deal with that helicopter? That helicopter is the bane of my existence. Every time I catch enough fish to fill a net, the helicopter swoops down and carries the fish to the Ball of Twine Diner in Central Disc, Minnesota. How sad. I know. It's like being stuck in a Norman Mailer novel. Don't move. Max, let's go. And the proprietor has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. Hold still, you flea-bitten polecat. Here you go, boss. What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. Get me the hell out of here! I hate country music! Get me the hell out of here! I'm scared, Sam! Thank <laughs> you. 
I hate country music! Hey, you've made a path across the driving range! Geez, that certainly took long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? <laughs> do it again! Do it again! Hee-hee! <laughs> Again, do it again. <laughs> do it again. Do it again. <laughs> hey, Sam. Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in mange in the booth while I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there. In that horrible booth, waiting. Jeez, Max, get over it. Okay. Here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's none of your business, Sam. It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. Let me see. Take a look. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? Yeah. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? To Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking. Shavul the Mole Man. Hey, maybe Shavul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. If Max spontaneously grew antlers, he still wouldn't be this ugly.
It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max portable car bomb games. Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. Stop! Get over here! Were you going to leave here without paying for... Heavens no! Here's some money. Fine. It's the mother of all crawdads. It's a carousel of bootleg Sam and Max paint by number books. Stop! Get over here! Were you going to leave here without paying for... Heavens no! Here's some money. Fine. Holy cat heaven, how long do you suppose it took them to wind this immense ball of twine? More importantly, how did they get it to stop rolling once it was all wound? Now there's something you don't see every day. What the hell are you talking about, Sam? We dump our fish heads out the window all the time. Yeah, but these are halibut. It's a 1 200,000th scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only 1 200,000th as stupid as the actual ball of twine. He looks like my 8th grade English teacher, but with more warmth. Let me guess, your suit is entirely made of twine. Actually, I'm the docent of this here museum. Now, what can I do for you? It's places like this that make me wish I were Canadian. Well, they've got one of these too, but half of it's French. How'd you get this job anyway? I clawed my way to the top, trampling those foolish enough to get in my way. Stop staring at me. I can't help it. You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell. No! I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidnae. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. Has Conroy Bumpus passed through here? Who is that? He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. 
This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. That'll be all for now. According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. Words like big and large only begin to describe this thing. I think stupid and inane would be useful additions. Not to mention grotesque. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. Jesse James severed hand. And it's still twitching. It's a broken golf ball retriever. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. I must be happy. Sam, this place is making my head ping. That's probably just the metal plate in your head. Who knows what makes these inanimate objects dance their infernal jitterbug? I do, I do! I think they're controlled by a series of really big magnets under the Earth's crust. You're an ignorant dolt, Max. Good Lord! <laughs> It's a possessed outhouse. This kind of thing wouldn't happen if they had indoor plumbing. <laughs> it's a player piano. Don't play it again, Sam. Of all the Dali-esque tourist traps in the world, we had to walk into this one. Of all the Dali-esque tourist traps in the world, we had to walk into this one. Yipes! Gravity's taken a holiday and lost its luggage. That's not what I'm about to lose. I think I'm gonna throw up. Throw down. Whatever. It's another tuft of Sasquatch hair and mange. My rabbity senses tell me that this is not Bruno's hair and mange. Or maybe I'm in love. Looks like all the blood went to her head years ago. Stealth gib to Oba wonk oi odd ta. I'm upside down, cutie, not dyslexic. Oh. Are you feeling as mentally unstable as I am? More so. It'll wear off in a few hours. Don't you get tired of always hanging around here? I'm fine as long as I keep denying the urge to fall or jump. I feel like my sense of reality has just exploded. Try cutting down on cholesterol. I'm looking for a Bigfoot. You too? I used to have a big foot in that black of ice over there. Yesterday I stepped out to have my spine recompressed, and when I got back, he was gone. Spine recompression? Cool. Do you know who Conroy Bumpus is? Yes, and he was here looking for a big foot. Then he got sick and had to leave. This place seems to have that effect on people. Do you sell any snow globes like this one? We used to, but... Not anymore. Why not? Because they were having an inexplicably bad effect on the vortex. With every new snow globe we built, the vortex got weaker and weaker. The same thing happens when I watch sitcoms. So we decided to discontinue the snow globes for financial reasons. I guess this means you don't have any snow globe stoppers. You got it. We'll be back. Back 
front, it's all the same to me. That's a mirror. That's a mirror. I told you this place was controlled by giant magnets buried under the Earth's crust. Lucky guess. It's a big magnet. It's a lever. It's a forest of shoe trees. I'm afraid, Sam. Let's get out of here. Who are you? I'm Sam. He's Max. We bust punks. And we're overachievers. That's cool, man. I'm Shavul. What do you want with me? Hey, Sam, look! Well, this bottled water is a real letdown. I don't know. Have you got any beef snacks for my little buddy? Sorry, man. I'm a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Now look what you've done. You've gone and scared Max. Whoa, bummer. Maybe you should just say what's on your mind and leave. One, two, three. What are we fighting for? Just checking. Doug says hi. That karmic waste of space? I bet he still spends his days zoned out in front of the TV watching crummy reruns. Yeah, but now he's got cable. What's with all the newspaper clippings? I'm collecting evidence of bizarre paranormal phenomena, man. Like the inexplicable staying power of professional wrestling? Right on, man. It's my belief that all the mysterious goings-on in the world, UFOs, striped toothpaste, two-headed squirrels, Dan Quayle, etc., are all somehow connected by a seemingly invisible cosmic thread of interdependency. I had that once, but then my parents kicked me out of the house and told me to find a job. What do you know about Bruno? Bruno the Bigfoot? Why do people keep asking that question? Bruno and I go way back. I've always felt a special kinship with Bigfoots. I feel the same way about pointy sticks. Shh! I haven't thought about Bruno for years. Allow me a moment to karmically link myself to him. If you must. 
Hold on, I'm getting something. I see Frog Rock between the eternal plain of acid rain and the enchanted Argyle Forest. Wait, man, Bruno's in trouble. It's like several voices screaming out in terror and then suddenly silenced. Sorry, guys, but I can't get a clear psychic image of Bruno. The sad truth is that I haven't been able to concentrate very well since I lost my mood ring in the biggest ball of twine in the world. If you find it for me, maybe I can help you. Is this your ring? Cool, man. Have you found Frog Rock yet? No, but I don't see how finding it's going to get me any closer to finding Bruno. Finding Frog Rock's only the beginning, man. Once you're at Frog Rock, you'll need some samples. Samples? Yeah, man. Bigfoot samples. You know, fur and stuff. Three of them. Smear them all over Frog Rock. Put the fur on the rock. Got it. Let's go, Max. Wait! You'll also need some Mystic Mole Man powder. You must be joking. No joke, man. Here, I'll get you some. Here you go. Sprinkle this Mystic Mole Man powder over the fur when you've smeared it all over Frog Rock. What'll happen then? Something wonderful. Thanks. Let's go, Max. An eight ball. <laughs> Take a leg, Max. Hey, look! That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. He looks safe enough. Did too. Did not. Would you two shut your traps? I'm trying to f***ing concentrate. Percent sign, ampersand, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon, too. What are you f***ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. What you doing? Using my telekinetic powers to bend my tools. Why? To help me fix the rotating mechanism on this f***ing diner. Well, that makes sense. Hey, lay off the swearing. We're trying to appeal to kids. Get bent. Percent sign, ampersand, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon, too. What are you f***ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Should I even bother asking you about Conroy Bumpus? F no. Have you heard anything about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who the f*** is Bruno the Bigfoot? Sam, he's speaking in tongues. What are these malformed tools good for? Lots of things. 
like scratching those hard to reach places. Every place is hard for me to reach. Would you like a free sample? Sure. Let me make one for you. It's all yours. Thanks. Percent sign, hammer sign, dollar sign. And colon, semicolon, too. What are you ing doing? Swearing in longhand, asterisk mouth. Well, bye. These exposed wires look like they're part of the restaurant control mechanism. They look like overcooked pasta to me, Sam. I can't use these things together. Now I can control the speed and direction of the diner via these mounted binoculars. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Uh, maybe not. I could be looking right at Frog Rock, but everything's too tiny. Okay, I've lodged the magnifying lens in front of the mounted binoculars. That's the Enchanted Argyle Forest. Hmm, it's a rock. And it's between the two things Shavul said it was between. It must be Frog Rock. Why, it's the eternal plain of acid rain. It's a rock. I think I can see Frog Rock. I've got to use this elevator. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. I can't pick that up. Frog Rock. This doesn't look like a frog at all. My innocence has been shattered by this blatant tourist trap. I want my money back. We didn't pay anything. Well, somebody better give me some money. It's a hunk of bleached blonde Sasquatch fur and mange. Suitable for framing. It's a swatch of Bruno's fur and mange. This fur and mange must have belonged to the Sasquatch at the Mystery Vortex. Oh, Sam.
It's a charming decanter filled with vile and mysterious liquids. It could be my long-lost twin brother, Sam. It's a powerful re Well? Wait for it. Sure gets dark quickly around here. I don't think this is a natural occurrence, Max. In fact, I think we're witnessing a celestial convergence of some sort. Do you think it'll make that rock look more like a frog? This means something, Sam. It's a Conroy world after all. If we ever get this rich and famous, I want you to shoot me, Sam. It'll be a pleasure. I remember my childhood in Brighton When dear old dad would bounce me on his knee He'd say, son, there ain't nothing as exciting as exposing beasts to inhumanity. That's why I'm happy to be king of the creatures. I'm proud to be the lord of the old. I love collecting things with grotesque features. It makes me feel like some champion god. Oh, I trapped my first tiger before I could speak Killed me a bear when I was free And now with this Bigfoot and giraffe neck freak I finally have a full menagerie Hit it, boys! Western star